Spot shores are temporary shores. They don't have lateral bracing. What they're going to be used for is we get a car into a house, anything like that. We need a quick shore. We can get in, search the house, things like that. What we don't want to do is stack more than two of these in a row. All right, so we can't just go through and say, well, it's quicker, so we're just going to use spot shores instead. That doesn't work. We can't use any more than two of them in a row. This one right here, it's a wood T shore, one to 4,000 pounds. So when you do your, uh, your assessment of the building, it's going to hold quite a bit. Where we don't want to use these is commercial buildings, things like that. That you know, We have reinforced concrete floors. We're going to put this in. First thing we want to look at is the top of it. We've got to make sure that we have the right height, so maximum of 11 foot. Because of this strut, we don't have a whole lot of play in there that we can use. So we get over that 11 foot and it's going to start losing a little bit of its strength in the center of it. We have the ceiling up here. We can take away the ceiling, expose the floor joists above it. We want to try and capture as many of those floor joists as we can or roof rafters as we can. Um, it's a maximum of three feet wide. One of the real critical things about this shore and one of the options that we have, if we have four joists one, run in one direction and our roof rafters run in a different direction, it's acceptable for us to twist this shore. So our header goes one way and our sole plate goes the other direction. That's completely fine. Maximum of 11 foot height. When we do our gusset plates up here, don't forget, we've got eight nails up at the top and five nails coming down the bottom. Make sure you have a good, solid, square connection. When we look at this, we know how much the weight of the shore will hold in this fashion when it's nice and square. If you don't have the shore set square, then you're going to lose your amount of pressure that you can put on it. You're going to lose the pounds that you can hold with it. Very important to make sure that all of our shores are very square. We come down to the bottom of it, it's got a half gusset on it. The reason we got a half gusset on it is because it's a temporary shore and we can move it. We don't need to put that full gusset plate on the bottom. We're gonna, what we're going to do with this shore is set it in place, move past it, build a permanent shore, and then we can take this shore out and move it and progress it into the building that way. When we look at our wedges, both of our wedges are married nice and tight together. Cut side to cut side. That's very critical to the strength of this shore because it doesn't allow things to move and slide apart once they are uh, been put in place. It's acceptable to go ahead and put a couple of nails behind here to hold those wedges in place so they don't kick out. A lot of times these wedges on the ground, people are walking by them, will trip on them and knock them out of place and they'll loosen the shore up. That's very bad. Um, make sure we point out here with our gusset plates, our half gussets, only get four nails in the strut and four nails in the sole plate. 